know what to sign for me So ask if you raise your glass, you pass the test Nine is still young, there ain't no stress Well, I drink to this and I drink to that Don't know why I drink and I don't mind Just grab yourself a glass, let's have a drink You raise your glass Let's have a little soul So raise your glass And let's have a little more Raise your glass Let's fill it to the top Let's see the bottoms of you Raise your glass Hi and welcome to another episode of the Big S Road Trip Right now we are still in Fredericton We are at the Maybe Brew Brewing Company What? What, what? Whoop, 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 whoop. So we're going to go inside and sample some beers and visit the place and uh, see you guys inside. Some of them you did. But it's an eight. But it's an eight. It's an eight. Okay, the next one is the New England IPA. So you pour it. New England IPA. That's gonna be after. IPA. IPA. I want smell good. Oh yeah. See from the can, from a can to the tap, there's a different taste. Because the tap is fresh from the tap. From a can, you can be there for a day, a week, a month. Depends. Uh, so it has time to get in that flavor. Also. Yeah, but from the tap, it's directly there. Flavor's good. A bit hoppy. It is a bit hoppy. Citrus? No, no, no. At the end. Yeah. At the end. Citrus at the end. Uh, it's good. So yeah, I like the best place that the, the best place actually to experience uh, beer is actually at the tap. Because there you can actually have from the tap to actually. Actually. So next one is what? An espresso stout. Eleven Z's. Eleven Z's. Oh man. 11 Z's. Not 12 Z's or 1 D's or. The 11 Z's stout. Look how dark that is. See, I, I just burnt like the wall where the guy said, it's like, how do you. Taste the beer. Taste the beer by a burp. 
But like that's that's dark, man. Wow. That's a dark stuff. But it's good. I already tasted it from a can. Not from the tap. I know, not from the tap. You have the roastiness smell. You know it's chocolate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's take this time, 30, 40 seconds, to thank our sponsors for the big ass road trip. So first of all, Thank you guys, you guys rock. Um, so we also have JC Pools. We have Sandfire, Microbrewery, Resort Side, Danny Manta. We got Mad Monkey Tattoo, Tiffany's New and Used Thrift Shop, Bearsford Auto Repair, Auto Sales, Auto Sales, sorry, Auto, Auto Sales, sales. Snack Bar Restigosh, Pure Extreme and Caracat, Pure Extreme du Nord. Uh, Gabriel Vienno, Vienno MMA, uh, and my cousin, owner of Camelton Taxi. So, I'd like to thank you guys for sponsoring this trip. Without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible, so it's uh, greatly appreciated. We get to explore the other great businesses of, uh, of, of New Brunswick. Brunswick. We're representing the, the North, the good you know. On the on the problem, on represent the North. So, et voici. Thank you very much, merci beaucoup, and back to the video. Not a coffee. Coffee? Terrible. Yeah. It's light. On the, on the taste pal, it's light. Tastes like a nice coffee. A nice coffee. Can I say so? I want to try the last one. It smells like it tastes. Well, yeah. It tastes like a nice coffee. Yeah, some, some taste of a nice coffee. I don't think she thinks There's only one stout that my wife liked was from Sussex. It was a stout made with Piccadilly. Uh, coffee. I try. She actually liked that. With mm -hmm. Piccadilly coffee. Coffee. Go out in the field and pick up some Delta Cruz. Wow. You're so smart. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it's just a it's bad frame. Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I go bad frame. Okay. So this is what I'm excited. The last one. Yeah. Is the Look black at that color. Very sour. You can't even see through it. Nope. That one I haven't done yet. Pour and 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 pour. It's like a... Looks like a smoothie. <laughs> the color of the... Get red. It's a sour too, so... Yeah, raspberry sour. It's a blackberry. Blackberry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Blackberry? Blackberry sour. Okay. Blackberry sour. <laughs> Let the ladies try that one. <laughs> Not for me. Up for you. Mm. I like it. I like the sour stuff. If you want, don't want to finish it, I can finish it. <laughs> you want more? You, you, you do that one. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's, it's like... That one was not for me? No. You get the blackberry, but at the end it gives me the impression of choke cherries after you eat them. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sandra loves it. Oh, I, I... Sour stuff? See, yeah, no. There's always flavors for everyone. I, yep. I, I wasn't. I, I didn't care for it, but I mean, my wife loves it. No. <laughs> Personally, the pale ale and the nip up well, all three except the blackberry sour. I'll, I'll go with that one. I'll vouch for the blackberry sour. Best one. <laughs> the New England IPA. Yes, I do agree. The New England IPA was definitely my favorite one. Yeah. Uh, the New England IPA, yes, by far the best one. Uh, 
I know they have the workhorse IPA, which we will have to do a redo because redo do do Scooby Doo. I forgot what I'm going to say that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have to redo it because uh, at the time Scott did it, yep. and he did not like it at all. I found it found it for which one? Workhorse IPA. Come here. Yeah, but that. We're gonna keep it for our Ikuli uh, or City of Heaven in Dunlop. It's gonna be a ten. It's gonna be a revisit. Yeah, that's gonna be a revisit there. We're gonna fat. We're gonna make Detani taste the beer that there too. We got the Black Horse, the Mark Horse IP, and another one from the uh, up, uh, I think it was, uh, up Street Cummings. Okay. All horse, all horse themed beer. So yeah, this one. So, what do you think about maybe brewing? I, I find it's a good, good spot. I like, you see this, this spot in here is very welcoming. It's nice. It's a, it's the kind of thing where you know you'll get with a bunch of buddies. Come here, you'll chill for a few hours. That's only with this side. And like they have, they have TVs, they have couches, they have. Yeah, and you get too drunk, you got the river right in front. You go, go for a dip. Go take a dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not suggesting not if you get drunk, go over because there's an industrial park in front. You got steel here and there. And there. It's fences and you're not allowed to go with it. If you can bypass that, you can go in the water. But don't drown yourself. In beer. Thanks for the explanation. That was, that was very good. That was, that was very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for watching this episode of Beer Show and Beat. Big Ass Roger. See you guys at the next destination.